okay, you want to purchase a new home, but your real estate agent wants you to put your house on the market before you even figure out where you're going to live next, let's talk about it. It's Rosemary Lewis, your educator agent with EXP Realty, and today we're going to talk about should you put your house on the market before you know where you're moving to? Before we get into it, I need you to subscribe to my channel. That way you will be notified every time I post any new videos. So, y'all, today we're going to talk about a question that I hear often from sellers. I don't want to put my house on the market until I know where I'm going to move. I know. I know it can be scary. Um, the idea of being homeless, the idea of all these buyers coming through your house when you have no idea where you're even going to go. It can be a daunting experience, but let me just demystify it just a bit. One of the reasons that your real estate agent is probably suggesting that you put your house on the market is because when you go out to look at a home to purchase, if you have to purchase that home with a contingency, it will look stronger if your home is already listed and even better if you are under contract. Now, what do I mean when I say you need a contingency? That means that in order for you to purchase the home that you like, your home must sell. For a lot of sellers, that is the case. You may be looking to free up some of that equity because the money that you get from selling your home, you're going to then use it to put as a down payment of the new home, or you've already spoken with your mortgage broker to understand your purchasing power, and they've let you know that in order to qualify for the amount of new home you want, we need to get this other home, your existing home, off of your credit so that your debt to income ratio isn't too high. So what does that look like? It's all going to come down to the negotiation power of your agent. I love to tell my clients that as the seller's agent, we drive the bus, especially as it relates to the timeline. When we accept an offer, if an offer comes in on your existing home, we can work with the timeline and make sure that those closing dates are in line with when you will purchase your property, okay? In the state of Texas, we can also request a lease back to the seller. Now, what that is, is an agreed upon amount of time after the new buyer purchases the home, they will give the seller a specific amount of time to stay in the home, okay? So there are many ways that your real estate agent can write and accept a contract to make sure that your best interests are at hand and that you don't end up being homeless. And I want you to think about the home that you would like to purchase. Let's hypothetically say that you were out shopping for a home and you find the perfect home. I mean, you love it. It's in your budget. It's exactly what you need, but your house isn't listed yet. You submit an offer on that home, but another buyer submits an offer too. Same exact offer, except your offer would require you to sell your home and your home is not even on the market and this buyer can close in 30 days. At least if your home was on the market, that seller would know that you are serious, that you have already done your due diligence, you are serious about purchasing their home because you've already taken the steps to get your home on the market. In the scenario that I described, most sellers might not be willing to accept your offer, wait for you to get the home ready, wait for you to get it on the market, wait for you to show it, wait for you to get under contract, and all of that. So when your real estate agent suggests that you put the home on the market even before you're under contract, they're not crazy. Honestly, they may be looking out for your best interest. Now, please have this discussion with your real estate agent. Look at you know the, what's going on in your market, market days and all that, and just make sure that whatever terms that you all decide on, that you are comfortable with. But in a lot of cases, the suggestion will be, let's go ahead and get your home sold, especially if the offer has to be contingent. It's going to show 
the potential seller on a home that you love, that you are serious and that you really want to purchase their home and that you've already started the process to get your home sold for that purpose. So I hope this was helpful. Go ahead and put any questions and comments that you may have. Have a great day and happy selling, happy real estate.